Gabby, thank you so much for sitting down with me today for Women in Witness. Yes, thanks for inviting me. Well, people know your voice from mm -hmm. Catholic Community Radio. They may have seen you on the Facebook Lives. Yeah. Um, and they've even probably read some of your blogs for NOLA Catholic Parenting. Um, but I'm glad we get this time to kind of sit down and talk a little bit more about you and, and your faith journey and, and why you work for the church. So again, thanks. Thank you. So tell me a little bit about your background growing up and, and your faith life. Yes, yeah, so uh, born and raised in Baton Rouge, centered around family and football and just <laughs> our always <Catholic> football <laughs> <laughs> and our Catholic faith. But um, my brother's in the Air Force. Uh, he's a fighter pilot in the Air Force. And my parents are now living in Texas, just living life, doing their own thing, kids out of the house. Yes. But growing up strictly on our faith, um, seeing the faith modeled in our home and also at Mass and our parents explaining the faith to us was really helpful, um, really rooted in our Catholic education as well. So uh, blessed to have a really great childhood uh, and wonderful parents and a, a really great brother. And that family life is so important to faith. I mean, we're not saying that people who don't have a strong Catholic family can't grow up to be saints. We've, we've seen right. it before. But being able to have that family life where you feel centered and you have that great background can really help and then it helps you model for your own family and you're a mother yes. um, and I know that's probably played a lot of role in your life as well. Uh, it's hard but I do my best but yes I've always tried to do my best modeling uh, what Christ teaches us in our home also in what we hear at Mass especially in the homilies that Sunday um, but also rooted in our, our faith as well teaching uh, my child my son um, at his level what it means to be Catholic and how to be a good person and how to treat others with kindness. So, yeah, it's, it's a great it's journey. It's a lot of work. It is yeah. a journey. <laughs> and it is a constant journey that we're always looking for more. Mm -hmm. But you are able to do this professionally as well. The same things that you're doing for your son, you work with Catholic Community Radio. Um, what does it mean that you've been able to put your skills, the gifts that God has given you to work for Catholic Radio in, in Catholic media? Yeah, well, my passion has always been broadcasting and journalism, and I started off secular and was covering all of these stories that really weren't uplifting or fun to work on, and being kind of thrown in, this job kind of fell into my lap, and being around like-minded people and proclaiming the truth, talking to people who understand your faith, who understand you and say, I'm going to pray for you, is so nice to hear and just being around the positivity even when things can get you know like a work environment can sure. get still saying okay lord i trust in you but it's it's great you know we have our community we have um you know people like the in the archdiocese of new orleans and who we work with in baton rouge and homa diocese as well it's just it's great and i really love it it's tr truly a passion and beyond the community of the workplace which i know I share that sentiment with you. I feel very blessed that I'm able to work here in an environment where everyone respects my faith, where that, that's part of who we are and mm -hmm. what we do every day. Um, but you are able to, every day, speak to thousands of people throughout South Louisiana <clears throat> about different things going on in the church. Um, what is that role like for you? I, I love it. I love it. I feel like I'm talking to a toaster in the morning. It's just an inanimate <laughs> object, a microphone. I don't realize that we have such a wide audience, especially for the morning show. And now that we're getting new platforms like Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on YouTube, all of these social mediums, it's truly a blessing. And to go to events like conferences and actually meet people who listen to the morning show makes me feel good because I don't get... I don't have an audience, a live audience, <laughs> with the way, just, I don't know how we're doing or anything like that. Mm -hmm. I hear it, I get feedback from when we go to these conferences or a church parish to talk about Catholic radio. I love it. Seven to eight in the morning, Monday through Friday is my favorite part of the day. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. And I know that there are a lot of people who really, amongst all the programming, they really love that hour because it's so localized, whether it's Baton Rouge, Homa, New Orleans. People feel really connected to you all who are hosting the show and really feel um, connected to the stories that you tell. Yeah. And so often it's hard to get good news about the church. When there's a, in, in any organization, any institution, um, you find that the, the trouble makes the news, right? The scandal is newsworthy, it's clickbait. Mm -hmm. um, but you get to tell, amidst 
to discussing some of the issues, you get to tell the really fun, happy stories mm -hmm. about the work of the church. Yes, and we don't ignore the elephant in the room, and we do mention that on the morning show, but we want the morning show to be, hey, good morning, you can have that cup of coffee, let's start off on the right foot. And I have a wonderful colleague, Jeff, who just were so in sync, and just that's who he is on the morning show is who he is <laughs> at 5 a.m. when we do <laughs> prep and everything. So. He's truly a wonderful human being, but I mean, I was taught that in journalism school. If it, um, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. If it is tragic, talk about it first. And right. that's what we were taught to talk about. But with Catholic radio, it's the gospel. That's the first thing we discuss. It's, hey, good morning. How are you? These are the amazing guests that we have. So it's truly a blessing. And in expanding, it's like we, it's Catholic Community Radio, but it's not just radio like you were saying. We're Facebook Live, you're lots of other things. Um, I joke all the time, and I think I've heard Archbishop Amon say this, that if Jesus was alive today, he would use social media to share the gospel through the world. Um, and we have a unique role in being able to do that, me sometimes with communications and you daily with the radio. Um, what does that mean for you as a professional, as a journalist? to be able to take these mediums that are decidedly secular and you know fully technology and put the love of God and church into them. Well, I definitely think that you know our faith is under attack daily. It's been like that f before we were even born. Sure. Um, I think social media is a powerful tool that we can use as witnesses to proclaim the gospel and what Jesus taught us to do, to use it for good. Especially when we see things like that we are touchy, like politics or things going on in the church right now, to use it to proclaim the truth, to act in kindness, but to also, when we talk about this on the morning show, to share things that you guys post in the Archdiocese, put things that we post, because that is evangelization. Um, hitting that share button or that like button, you never know which one of your friends on social media sees it on their news feed. Right. and are struggling and maybe just needs to take a look or take a listen right. on that. So you never know who needs to see it. I um, I like to have the conversation about digital disciples and media missionaries, and we have, we're called to be both. You know, we're called mm -hmm. to um, both follow and like and share as disciples, but also to witness as, as missionaries in, in media. And so I, I love that analogy. And I want to kind of wrap up our conversation by bringing it back to what we were talking about. So you have an odd schedule <laughs> here, here, mom. So how does um, that five to then prep top in the morning and then being on air from seven to eight, how do you balance, you know, being mom and being able to to do that kind of odd schedule? Um, lots of coffee. <laughs> I, I agree with that. And I'm blessed to love my job. I love it that I enjoy waking up in the morning. Even when I know I have a long day, coffee does help. Um, I have an amazing husband now who really um, supports me and that really helps. Um, but knowing that you have your duties to do and sometimes a 20 minute nap helps here and there. <laughs> but. Um, no, I love my job and that motivates me to get up every morning and just keep on and my son needs me and my husband needs me so doing those duties motivates me. Well Gabby I want to thank you for first of all your work and your commitment for loving your job at Catholic Community Radio and being a young person who's really witnessing um, her faith in, in all that she's doing so thank you for being a woman in witness. Thank you.